Good evening. Well, things have settled down quite a bit weather wise, but let's give you a look at what some of those crews had to deal with today. This tree actually fell uh, last night, according to residents right here on the power line, almost driving it onto the ground and it completely blocked off this road right here. Now, residents talked to me earlier today and they told me that uh, crews came out and they had to cut down some parts of the tree and you can still see some of the branches from that tree that was kind of moved off over to the sides in order to open up this road. But even when we've been out here today, uh, folks have been taking it very, very slowly coming down this road because they don't want to hit their uh, the top of their cars on this part of the tree right here that's still hanging uh, a good part into the road. Now we've been traveling around Pierce County all day. We've been seeing scenes uh, like this across the area. Utility crews in Pierce County spent the day cleaning up the debris from the wind that whipped through the area yesterday and cordoned off pools of standing water on the roads. Authorities say while Pierce County wasn't hit as hard as other areas in Puget Sound, there was still quite a bit to clean up. We ended up overall with about 30 water over road locations, had four road closed and uh, about 10 tree um, uh, concerns come in over the over the event. Now, residents are being advised that if they do see any down lines or any trees that have fallen into power lines to steer clear of that area and to reach out to authorities so utility crews can get out here and make sure that the area is secure and safe. But for now, we're live in Puyallup, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News. Bye now, thank you. And taking a look now at the Puget Sound Energy Outage map, more than 25,000 customers are still without power. As you can see, they're all along the sound from Bellingham South with the largest number of customers impacted reporting in the Olympia area.